So this panel was uh, largely about Justice Scalia's uh, methods of statutory interpretation and his uh, theory. Each panelist brought their own perspective, and uh, Bill Eskridge talked at uh, length about how Justice Scalia really transformed this field, you know, in a sense created it as an academic discipline. Statutory interpretation before Justice Scalia was really quite unself-conscious. Uh, judges had their own theories of interpretation or methods of interpretation. He had a theory. His theory was textual. His theory was Congress has enacted these words. The House of Representatives voted for these words, the Senate voted for these words, and the President signed this bill, and that's what the law is. It's not what they wrote in committee reports or said on the floor of the um, House or Senate. It's the words that they wrote that were enacted for Article 1, Section 7, that's the law and that's what judges should be interpreting. Judges then were constrained by the words of statutes and they couldn't actually reach their preferred policy preference all the time. They had to decide cases per the words Congress, Congress had enacted. And uh, that was Justice Scalia's approach and it had a great impact on the way the court generally approaches statutory interpretation.